so much, uh, Councilman, and really for uh, being the uh, sounding uh, board and uh, keeping all of us surprised. And I want to thank um, our controller uh, for joining us here. Um, you know, to really raise this uh, issue. Uh, uh, Graves in Bay is not the graveyard for toxic waste and dumping in our community. Uh, it is uh, horrendous uh, that we can have an accidental oil spill and we are notified through an accident. Uh, community residents, blogs, uh, emails, tweets, uh, voicemail, that is not the form of communication of transparency that should be used in government and it is unacceptable. Uh, we should not uh, find out by accident about an accident. Uh, this oil spill of 27,000 gallons of oil and the manner in which it happened um, based on preliminary report reports, uh, the individual who was transporting the oil lost attention or uh, uh, did not pay attention and caused something like this to happen, this is unacceptable. And to compound the man-made error, we had either an intentional action by the agencies involved or the same level of incompetence that was shown in the transportation of the fuel was shown in notifying this community. Uh, you do not solve environmental issues by covering it up. What did they think? The oil was going to go away and no one was going to detect people coming with hazmat suits and cleaning up their community and asking a question? Uh, for this to happen, it sends a chilling uh, impact. It really erodes our trust in those agencies who are responsible for ensuring that the quality of our waterway, the quality of our beaches, the quality of our environment is going to be protected. They should not be protecting private industry. They should be protecting the people of this community. And I, I find it hard to believe if this would have happened on Park Avenue in Manhattan, mm -hmm. I believe the people would have been notified in an appropriate fashion. But you're saying at this end of the city, that we do not give the, the same level of respect, the same level of communication, the same level of transparency. The water may be cloudy from the oil, but the reporting should not be cloudy from those who want to prevent us from knowing the truth. So thank you, Councilman. And all the people who are here, these are not elected officials who are in the foreground. These are community residents who live in this community and use this waterway for many different reasons, recreational, to fish for food, uh, to use it as students and environmental cleanup. This is the wrong message. As our students clean up on one end, we're dumping pollutants in another end. What message are we sending? And that is why we're here today to join our councilmen in calling for some clear answers on what happened here, clear steps on how do we prevent this from happening in the future, clear uh, understanding of what penalties are going to go to the industry, the fuel industry that did the dumping here. We want them not only to pay for the cleanup action, but how are they going to make this community whole? We want them to come and explain exactly what happened and what happened to the employee that uh, did not take uh, the responsibility correctly to ensure that something of this magnitude uh, uh, did not happen. Uh, this did not hit a, 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 a mother nature, did not cause this accident. Uh, this was clearly incompetence at the highest level of not only in the spilling of the fuel, but it was incompetence at the highest level of not ensuring the notification that was done. If we were not notified, how do we know this area was cleaned up in the appropriate fashion? This is unacceptable of what happened in this community. Gravesend is not the graveyard for toxic waste and fuel and dumping in this community. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Take our water away! Take our water away! Don't come on us! Thank you.
few borough presidents. Uh, we've been joined by our citywide elected officials, and we truly appreciate their leadership and their partnership. I want to welcome <coughs> City Controller Scott Turner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank uh, Council Member Mark Traeger, who uh, is always steps ahead of so many city agencies and the fact that he's brought us all together is a testament to his leadership as well as, of course, Borough President Adams, Public Advocate James, and all the community leaders who are out here today. You know, it's really incredible that for days no one knew that Gravesend Bay was being poisoned with diesel fuel. We still don't know how Coney Island Creek has been contaminated. Not the public, not the media, not even elected officials. No one had answers because government decided not to inform us. And in tough situations, whether it's Hurricane Sandy or some other crisis, communication is everything. And in this case, we got radio silent treatment. This community deserves a response, and we need a clear plan to clean up Gravesend Bay and a clear course of action for Bayside Fuel Oil Depot. We have to make sure this never happens again. So here's the deal. We have got to have our questions answered since the 1970s. Bayside Fuel Oil Depot Corporation has been cited for seven oil spills, seven. Just this past fall, another company was dumping waste in Coney Island Creek. None of us heard about it. It's unacceptable and it needs to stop. Today, in consultation with Council Member Traeger, I am asking my audit investigation unit to commence a top to bottom review of procedures as it relates to communication, as it relates to cleanup, as it relates to holding these oil companies accountable. We need a resiliency plan and a preventive plan. This community cannot turn into a toxic dumping ground. It's not right, especially after Hurricane Sandy. We come together today to say enough is enough. We are going to investigate, we are gonna call in the players as we identify them, and I promise you, we will issue our report and our investigation to the council member, to the community board, to the leadership, to the borough president, and get the answers you demand. And that's why I wanted to be here today with you, council member. We cannot let this happen anymore. Our water is precious, our children are precious, and we're not going to destroy the beautiful waterfront of this community. This is not a natural disaster. This is man-made, and they've got to stop it and shut it down once and for all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I just want to say, I find it astonishing that we obtained through an email a memo that was circulated internally amongst the state and federal agencies. And in the memo it said, media interest, none. Look at all the media here today. Do you know why there was no interest? No one knew about it. Yeah. That's why there was no interest. But we are shedding light on this today and moving forward. I want to call up next our dynamic public advocate, Letitia James. And thank you. So I'm calling upon the Attorney General of the State of New York to step in and to investigate. I'm also calling upon the District Attorney of Brooklyn to investigate. This is a criminal action. The fact that they did not notify this community. The fact is that they did not notify any elected official. And days have passed. And the oil has seeped into the inlet as a result of the storms that we just experienced. And it's really unacceptable. In addition to the, imp the failure to notify elected officials in the community, we really need to also understand the impact to the marine biology. Individuals come to this wonderful place to fish. Schools come here. Our beaches are here. Individuals take advantage of the water. And it's really unacceptable that this oil company allowed this spill to happen. And all of these agencies, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, the New York City Department of Environmental Protection, the EPA, and the US Coast Guard failed to notify any elected official. These are agencies whose mission is clearly to protect the environment, but they also have another mission, 
to protect the general public. And when you turn your back on the general public, then you have engaged in a dereliction of your duties. And the failure to notify, again, amounts to a issue that needs to be investigated at the highest levels of government. It's happened across this state, and the Attorney General of the State of New York came and investigated. And we demand the same in Brooklyn. And we will not let up under the leadership of the council member. We will not let up until there is a full investigation. You cannot go away. You cannot say to this community and to the elected officials, well, we investigated and all is fine and there's no harm. We want findings and we want an independent individual, the Attorney General of the State of New York, to come in and do an investigation and to determine whether or not the cleanup and the spill and the effects and the notification, what went wrong, and to prevent this from happening again. It is outrageous that this community was dumped on once again, and it's unacceptable. And under the leadership of this council member, we will not allow it now, and we will not allow it in the future. I stand with the Gravesend community and demand a full investigation.